election from high school. And I said, you better do the district report to the NAA history tournament. We'll be here in Northside, India, versus McNary Central Bobcats. And good evening and welcome to the second game of the District 14 AA Tournament. Just at the starting lineup for the Bobcats. Number zero, Justin McBride. Number three, Cameron Jones. Number four, the Corey Genesee. Number five, Mikel Morris. And number ten, Edward Sunny. Just go on. Ignore it. Just go on. Just go on. I don't care. Go I don't know. Just do, you do your job. You go. And starting off will be Mason Latham doing the jump off against McBride of the, for the Indians. And the Bobcats will get first position. Amari Robinson with the ball. Back to Starks, trying to get it down low to Latham, and it's stripped away by McBride. Bringing the ball down. That is Jones at the top. Over to Morris. Back to Genesee. Run to Mars for the three-point attempt, and it's in and out. But Northside will get the rebound. And it's going to be Bobcat ball. Jasper Sanders throwing the ball. He is going to be called for the travel. As there's some heavy pressure from Northside. Jones with the ball. And Jasper Sanders comes away with it. Throws it over to Robinson. To Latham for the jumper. It's good. Mason Latham breaking the ice. Putting the Bobcats on the board. 625 in the first quarter. And the Bobcats go up two to nothing. That's Jones with the ball over to Genesee. Tries to drive the lane. He's going to be fouled. The foul's going to be called on Starks. That'll be his first, team's first.
Genesee at the line to shoot. First one is good. The second one is also good. That ties the score up at two all. And Mason Lane. Northside comes away with it. And Northside gets the rebound after the shot by Mars. So I'm still trying to learn their names. It's going to be still north side ball. 5.36 in the first quarter. Scores tied at 2-all. Getting the ball out to the top of the key. Over to Jones. Pulls up for the jumper. It won't fall in. And Mason Latham pulls the rebound. He's being double teamed. Gets it across to Jasper Sanders. Over to White. To Amari Robinson who goes in for the layup. And he is fouled. Robinson at the line to shoot. Second one is good. Cats lead four to two. Genesee with the ball back over to Jones. To Morris, who drives all the way down, puts it up, but it's no good. And a little scramble for the ball. Jasper Sanders has it, hands it over to White. Gets it down to Mason Latham under the goal. Shoots, it won't fall. Northside comes up with it. And Mar Marquise White just strips it away. Sorry. Having some technical difficulties. Mason Latham gets a hand on it. Oh, almost knocks it in. And it's going to go back to Northside. Over to Jones. Down to Morris. Pulls up for the jumper. It's no good. And Marquise White pulls the rebound. Throws it down to Jasper Sanders for the fast break. Won't fall. And again a scramble. And the referee's going to call another foul, I believe, on Starks. Yep, that'll be his second, team second. So, 3.58 to play in the first quarter. North side trailing the Bobcats 6-2. Jones with the ball. Going across the floor to Morris. Pulls up for the jumper. It's no good. But Northside gets the rebound. Back out to the top for a three-point attempt. It is no good. And McBride puts it back up and in. And the referee says that Sanders stepped on the line. So it's going to be north side ball again. <laughs> Morris with the ball down to Jones. Out to McBride for the short jumper. It's no good. And Marquise White pulls the rebound. Pulls up for the three-point attempt. And it's nothing but net for Marquise White. Bobcats go on top 9-4. to four. 
Northside bringing the ball down. That is Morris over to Jones. A three-point attempt by Sane is no good. Again, Marquise White tries to pull it down, but Northside comes up with it, and Jones will score. So Cole Kirk in the game for the Bobcats. Marquise White with another three-point attempt. Marquise White. 2-0-4. Bobcats double. The North Side Indians with 12 to 6 is the score. Bobcat bench call. And Jasper Sanders gets a little bit of a steal, but he's called for a walk. Northside will throw the ball in in the corner. The three point attempt is no good. Marquise White catches the ball. Sanders for the easy layup. Bobcats 14 to 6. One minute and 32 on the quarter. So Bobcats doing some full court defense. Wallace going up for the layup, and he's hammered by the Bobcats. Foul is going to be called on Cole Kirk. That'll be his first, team's third. And Wallace will go to the line to shoot two. First one is no good. Second one is good. Makes the score 14 to 7. 120 left to play in the first quarter. Amari Robinson throwing the ball over to Sanders and it's called for the walk. And Roderick Alexander will be joining the game for the Bobcats. Jones with the ball. Pulls up for the jumper. It's a little short, but Northside gets the rebound. Put it back up and in by Morris. 14 to 9. Molly Robinson throwing the ball over to White. Over to Mason Latham. Gets it back into Cole Kirk. Over to Alexander. Back to Latham. Pulls around, throws it to Kirk, who goes in for the layup, and he's rejected, but he's fouled. So Cole Kirk will go to the line to shoot two. Foul called on Jones, his first, team's first. I'm sorry, team's second. And Cole Kirk at the line to shoot two. Neither one will fall for him. Score 14 to 9. 40 seconds on the clock in this first quarter. A three point attempt from the corner is no good, but the rebound by Northside. Put back up and in by Clifton. And Northside with a steal. 20 seconds left to go in this quarter. Ball out to Jones. Over to Wallace for the three pointer. No good, and Marquise White pulls the rebound. Throwing the ball over to Robinson. Goes up. Omari Robinson bringing the score up 16 to 11 at the end of this first quarter. At the end of this first quarter, the Cats lead 16 to 11.
Coach Riley a little upset with the Bobcats. Bobcats are going to the second quarter, leading 16 to 11. Northside will start the quarter with possession. Wallace with the ball. Out to Jones. Back out to Wallace. Drives around, tries to put it up, and Mason Latham strips it away from him. Tips it over to Broderick Alexander, and he's surrounded. Foul's going to be called. Uh, nope. We got a timeout call first. So, 30 second timeout call by the Bobcats. <laughs> Seven thirty-seven on the clock here in the second quarter. Bobcats on top, sixteen to eleven. Marquis Wild to be throwing the ball in. <coughs> Robinson walking the ball down. Going at long court to Mason Latham over to White, and it's stripped away. Northside bringing the ball down. Jones over to Wallace, to the corner to Morris, back up to Jones at the top of the key, over to Wallace. Over to Wallace. Yep, three-point attempt is no good. Jones with the rebound, puts it back, uh, throws it down to Clifton, who puts it up and in. So 16 to 13 in the second quarter. White with the ball, over to Alexander. And the referee calls 10 seconds. Northside with the ball. Over to Barnard. Looking. Like Morris, it's no good. Scramble for the ball, and Molly Robinson comes up with it. Takes off, throws it down low to Mason Latham, but a little bit too far, and Latham can't quite catch up with it. And 6:21 in the second quarter, Bobcats leading 16 to 13. Jones with the ball. Throwing it to Barnard. Back to Morris. Over to Wallace. Back to Jones. Clifton setting the screen. Back out to Wallace. Long distance three-pointer is no good, but Clifton gets the rebound, throws it down low to Jones, who puts it up and in. And that will make the score 16 to 15. Jasper Sanders getting the ball down, and it's knocked out by Northside. Amari Robinson with the ball. He's going to go all the way down, and he's fouled. Foul called on Bernard. That's his first third team foul. Robinson goes to the line to shoot. First one's no good.
The second one is good. Cats lead by two, 17 to 15. North side looking down low, bring it back out, and he throws it away, trying to make the pass. Starks with the ball over to White, back to Robinson, down low to Cole Kirk, who puts it up, it won't fall. Bobcats will throw it in under their own goal. White throwing the ball into Starks. Over to Sanders for the three pointer. Bottom. Jasper Sanders for three. 20 to 15. 4.53 left to play in the second quarter. Northside getting the ball down the floor quickly. Jones with the ball. Over to Morris, back to Jones. Over to Genesee, tries to feed it into Clifton, and he's going to be called for the charge. It'll be his first, team's fourth. Bobcats will get the ball. Marquise White with the ball, and he's going to be called for the walk. Jones feeding the ball down low to Sane. He scores. The basket's going to count. Foul's going to be called on Amari Robinson, his first, excuse me, his first, team's fourth. And Sane will go to the line to shoot. It's no good. Mason Latham with the rebound, but it's stripped away. And a little bit of a walk right there, or double dribble. <laughs> Robinson with the ball to Sanders, back to Robinson. Throws it across to White for the three-pointer. In and out, but Mason Latham gets the rebound, passes it over to Starks, and he loses it. And Northside comes up with the ball. And a foul is going to be called against uh, Marquise White. That's his first. Team's fifth. With 401 left to play in the second quarter. Bobcats are on top, 20 to 17. <clears throat> Jones with the ball. Jumper by Genesee is no good. Mason Latham comes up with it. And Robinson going down, feeding it to the uh, Sanders. To White trying to move it into Starks and it's stripped away by Clifton. Here comes Jones with the ball. Another three point attempt. Still no good. Latham again with the rebound. Robinson throwing it down to Sanders. Down low to White who puts it up. It won't fall. Clifton gets the rebound. Jones with the ball. Back to Morris, who's going to drive around, in and out, put back up by Genesee, and it's good. It makes the score 20 to 19. 2.55 on the clock. Sanders getting the ball down to Latham. Throws it across the court, and White comes back up with it. Back to Latham for the jumper. It's no good. He gets his own rebound, tosses it out to Sanders, back to Latham, back to Sanders, to White. Two and a half minutes left to play in this half. Robinson with the ball. 
He tries to work his way in and he is fouled. Foul called on Jones. That'll be his second, team's fifth. Latham with the ball under the goal, up and it rolls back out. Jones with the ball, back over to Genesee for the three-pointer. It's no good, but Clifton puts it back up and in. And Northside takes the lead for the first time in the game, 21 to 20. Two minutes on the clock. Starks with the ball, lays it up, won't fall. Again, Clifton with the rebound. Northside's going to walk the ball down. Jones with the ball. Northside on top by one. Genesee pulls up for the jumper. It's short, but Clifton picks it up and puts it in. So the score is 23-20, to 20, Northside, and Coach Riley wants a timeout. Another 30-second timeout. The Cats trailing by three. 23 to 20 here with 124 left to play in the first half. Bobcats will have possession of the ball. Throwing it in on the side. Robinson throwing the ball down to Starks. Down low to Latham who puts it up and it goes over. But Starks gets the rebound. It's knocked out of his hands. But the referee says he was the last one to touch it. North, north side throwing the ball in. Just over a minute left to play. Lee with the ball goes under the lane. He is fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul call on Mason Latham. That's one foul on Latham, his first. 16 fouls. And the first shot by Lee is no good. <laughs> Second one is short, but Northside gets the rebound. Puts it back up, still no good. Another rebound, and this time it's good. So Northside on top, 25 to 20. Sanders with the ball, dribbles around, pulls up for the jumper, it's a little long. So Jones pulls down the rebound, throws it down to Genesee. Cole Kirk knocks it out of his hands, and it's going to be a Bobcat ball. 32 seconds on the clock. Robinson throwing the ball into Sanders, back to Robinson. Over to Sanders, to White. Pulls up for the three-pointer, and it won't fall for him this time. Northside bringing the ball down. Less than 10 seconds left to play. Jones going for the last shot. Gets it in to McBride, and it's stripped away the starts. And it, uh, Starks looking for somebody long court and couldn't find anybody, so he turned to throw it instead to Sanders and Clifton stripped it out of his hands to score. That makes the score going into the half. 27 Northside, 20 McNary Central. We will be back in about eight minutes. And we're coming back for the second half. 
of this District 14 AA ball game. Bobcats against Northside playing at Lexington. Cats go into the third quarter trailing 20 to 27. Start this quarter, north side with the ball. Jones throwing the ball over to Morris. Back to Sane. Over to Jones, back to Morris for the three-point attempt. It's in and out. Clifton will get the... Rebound, but he's going to be called on the back. That's his first one, team's first. So Robinson getting the ball down to Latham. Back to Robinson for the layup. Clifton knocks it down. Oh, goodness. And a little cheap foul called on Starks. That'll be his third. No, he didn't call the foul. Thank goodness. I was afraid he did. But Northside does get the ball. Jones throwing the ball. Morris driving low. Back out to Clifton. To Jones. Going down low to Clifton, puts it up and throws it over. Another shot. And Marquise White gets the rebound, throws it over to Robinson. He's going to take it all the way down to Starks. And Starks loses control of it. So it'll be north side ball again. Ten seconds called against Northside. White with the ball. Up to Latham. Up to Robinson. Up to Sanders. Take it down to White. Pulls up and it's stripped out of his hands. It starts, comes up with it. And he's going to be fouled. I believe the foul is going to be on, yeah, Genesee. That'll be his second, team second. And Sanders with the three point attempt. And it's good. That puts the Cats at 23, still trailing by four. 23 to 27. Here's six minutes in the second quarter. Jones with the ball. And the jumper is no good. Some scrambling for the ball. And it's going to be Bobcat basketball. White getting the ball down the floor to start. He's going to pull up for the three. It's no good. And Northside getting the rebound, but he touched the line. So it's going to be Bobcat basketball again. And 536 in the third quarter. The Cats are trailing 23 to 27. Robinson throwing the ball into White to Sanders. Back out to White. Over to two Starks for the jumper, and it's tipped. <laughs> and Clifton lost his shoe on the play. And got the foul. 
So that'll be two fouls on him, three team fouls. Starts to go the line to shoot two. First one is good. 27-24. Northside still on top. Some fresh blood coming in for Northside. Second one is good. 27-25. Northside still on top. Bernard with the ball to Wallace. To Jones. Back to Sane. He puts it up and Marquis White had a hand on it. The referee calls a foul. I'm not sure about that one. I think it was all ball that time. But the foul is going to be called on Marquise White. That's his second. Team's first. So Sane will go to the line to shoot two. First one is good. Second one falls back out. But Wallace goes up with the jumper. A little scramble for the ball. Mason Latham pulls it down. Passes it over to White. Pulling the ball to Starks. Over to Sanders. Sanders working his way around. Up and in. And Clifton rejects it. Getting the ball down the floor quickly. Wallace with the ball. Out to Bernard. And he shoots and scores. Makes the score 30 to 25. 427 in the third quarter. Starts down low by himself. And he's clobbered, but no foul called. And the basket won't fall for him. Instead, Sane goes down. Clifton putting it back up and in. And the referee called a little ticky foul. Um, I believe Mason Latham. Yep. <laughs> It'll be two fouls on Latham and two team fouls. So Clifton will go to the line to shoot two. And the second one's no good. Starks getting the rebound. White going to be called for a little double dribble. And 4.06 on the clock in the third quarter. The Cats trail them by five. 30 to 25. Wallace with the ball. Up to Jones. Back down to Wallace. Feeding it in to Sane. And he puts it up. It's no good. But Jones comes up with the rebound. Does it back across to Wallace for the three-point attempt. It's no good. Mason Latham pulling the rebound. And Robinson bringing the ball down. He's going to take it all the way down. Won't fall. Clifton gets the rebound. Does it over to Jones. Wallace with the ball. And the foul called on Sane down low. That'll be his first foul. Team's fourth. <coughs> uh, Northside putting some full court pressure on the Bobcats. Latham with the ball. Throws it down to Starks and it's knocked away. White throwing it in to Robinson. He puts it up and it's no good. Starks battling for it. Gets it back out to Sanders. Back to White. Back over to Sanders. Down low to Starks and he almost lost it. Back. He's being double teamed. And I believe Coach Raleigh got in a quick timeout. 
So Cats trailing by five, 30 to 25, three minutes on the clock in the third quarter. Fouls have not really been an issue in this game yet. Hopefully they won't be. Bobcats throw the ball in. Throw the ball into White. Up the Starks. Back to White. Get it over to Starks. Down low to Mason Latham. Who tries to put it up, but he's hammered. Foul call on Bernard. That will be his second. Team's fifth. And Latham will go to the line to shoot two. First one is good. <laughs> Second one is also good. Those cats trailing by three, 30 to 27. Wallace bringing the ball across the line. Trying to work his way in for the shot. Clifton gets a hold of it, puts it back up. Bernard gets a hold of it. Back out to Wallace. Jones with the jumper. No good. Sane's going to be called on the back, I hope. Yep. Foul called on Sane. That's his second. Oh, no, my goodness. They called the foul on Omari. Wrong number 10. That's his second foul. Third team foul. Should have been on Sane. He was on the back. All right, Jones with the ball. Shoots and it's good. 32 to 27. Two minutes on the clock in the third quarter. Catch trailing by five. Amari Robinson dishes it down to Latham, puts it back up underneath. It won't go. Robinson with the rebound. And he's a little bit of temper down there. A little bit of temper down there. And the foul is going to be called on Sane. That will be his official second. 16 fouls on the north side. And the Bobcats will throw the ball in under their goal. Ball into White. He's going to drive the lane and score. Marquise White. And Sanders gets his hand on it, but Jones pulls it back up. So an almost steal by Sanders. And Sanders is going to be called for the foul. So that'll be his first foul. 14 fouls on the Bobcats. And Temper's flaring a little bit, getting a little tense in here. Cats trailing by three. 141 left to play in the third quarter. Wallace with the ball, drives the lane. And he's fouled. I was called on Jasper Sanders. It'll be his second, team's fifth. 
Wallace goes to the line to shoot. First one's good. Second one also good. Northside 34, McNary Central 29. 129 left to play in the third quarter. And White with the ball and it's stripped away. Wallace will bring the ball across the line. Throw it going down low to McBride. And it won't fall for him. And then again a test tussle for the Call a foul on Mason Latham. Mason not happy with that. That'll be his third foul, team six. Gonna let the Wallace be shooting a technical. So a technical foul called on Mason Latham. First one is good. Second one also good. So now Northside is on top by seven, 36 to 29. This is a pretty low scoring game for either team. And Cole Kirk checking in for the Bobcats. Wallace with the ball. Up to Sane. Trying to get it down low to McBride, and Marquise White gets a hand on it. And Amari Robinson with the ball. He's going to be fouled. Foul called on DeMoss. That's his first. Team seventh. So Amari will go to the line to shoot one and one. 50 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Cats trailing by six now. First shot is good. And the second one also good. says he fouled. McNary fans definitely not happy with that. Because that will be Marquise White's third foul. Seven team fouls. So Wallace will go to the line to shoot one and one. And it's good. Second one also good. So again, north side, full court pressure. Robinson dribbling around him. And he's being surrounded. This time the foul called on Jones. That's his third foul. Team's eight, so Robinson will go back to the line to shoot one and one. And it's good. Cat still trailing by six. 38 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Second one good. Brings the Cats within five. Uh, Wallace with the ball. Tries to get it down to McBride. He shoots. It's no good. And instead, Amari Robinson with the rebound. Over to Sanders. To Robinson. To Dustin. it down to Bringing the catch within three. And Sang going in to shoot, but he's going to be 
Foul foul on Starks, that's his third. Same will go to the line to shoot. And it's good. And the second one, no good. As the buzzer sounds, the Cats will end the third quarter, trailing by four, 39 to 35. One more quarter left to play in this game. The winner of tonight's game will play Southside for the championship on Tuesday night at 7.30. The loser of this game will play Lexington Tuesday night at 6 in the consolation game. Southside beat Lexington earlier. Oh, it's pretty bad. 56 to 23. So the Cats trailing by four, getting ready to start the fourth quarter. Trailing 39 to 35. Start the fourth quarter with Bobcats with possession. Robinson with the ball. And he lays it up. It won't fall. Clifton getting the rebound. And two Northside players fighting over the ball to get called for a travel. <laughs> so Robinson throwing the ball in. Gets it in to White. Three-point attempt. No good. Cole Kirk gets a hand on it. Tips it over to Robinson. Back out to Sanders for the three-pointer. No good. And Clifton gets the rebound. Throws it over to Wallace. Goes all the way down. Puts it up and scores. And White called again for the travel. I haven't seen what it is what it is he's done that the referee doesn't like, but that's the second or third time tonight he's been called for that. <clears throat> but the referee definitely doesn't like something he's doing. So Northside throwing the ball in under, under their own goal. Wallace with the ball. And Marquise White. Almost getting the steal, but he stepped, or the ball, I think, actually touched the line. <coughs> Jones with the ball. Getting it back down low to Clifton, who puts it up, and it won't fall. Starks getting the rebound. Throwing it to Robinson, who's going to take it all the way down and put it up and in. Amari Robinson scoring two. Northside going to walk the ball down a little bit. The Bobcats playing some man to man. Um, And a little bit more on the bike action by Northside. This time the foul was called on Lee. That'll be his first team's ninth. So I believe it's Robinson will go to the line to shoot one and one. And it's no good. Northside with the rebound. 
Wallace with the ball up to Jones, back to Morris, to Wallace. He's trying to drive around, and Sanders going to be called again, yeah, for the foul. That's his third. Team's 10th. So Wallace will go to the line to shoot two. Cats trailing by four, 41 to 37. Just over six minutes left to play in this quarter, in this game. And both shots good. Definitely haven't missed too many free throws tonight. So Sanders with the ball. And thrown away. And Wallace with the ball. Lays it up. Won't fall, but Clifton gets the rebound, puts it back up, and Marquise White grabs it. Throws it down to Sanders, who takes it and lays it in. And now Northside wants a timeout. So the Cats bring it back up within four, 43 to 39. 545 left to play. Northside has called a timeout. Sorry, north side throwing the ball in. Jones with the ball. North side on top by four. Five and a half minutes left to play. Jones is going to take it down, turn around for the jumper, and it's no good. Marquis White pulling the rebound. Throws it over to Robinson. Robinson dishing it over to Sanders. Back to Latham, back out to Sanders. And Northside gets the ball. Coach Riley thought there should have been some fouls called in there. Lee with, uh, Jones with the ball rather. Going down to Lee. He tries to drive the lane and he walks. So the Bay Bobcat ball, four minutes and 50 seconds left to play. Cats trailing by four. And full court pressure by Northside. But ball down to Mason Latham. Robinson dishing down to Latham. And he's pushed out, back out to White. Down to Starks, who puts it up. It's a little hard. It won't fall, and Northside gets the rebound. So Clifton's height definitely causing a problem tonight for the Bobcats. Three-point attempt is no good. Marquise White gets the rebound. Throws it to Robinson. Down to Latham. Gets it, trying to get it into Starks, but it's knocked out. So Robinson will throw the ball in to White. Bobcats trailing by four. To Latham for the jumper. It's no good. And Northside gets the rebound. Jones throwing it over to Morris. Back to Jones for the layup. No good. Marquise White gets the rebound. Over to Robinson. And he's being double teamed and it's stripped away. And McNary fans definitely not happy with that call after Robinson's double team. 
they take the ball away from him, then he gets the foul called on him. So it'll be three fouls on Robinson. And of course, the Bobcats have been at number 10 already for a foul or two, so Wallace will go to the line to shoot two. First one's no good. Second one is good. 44 to 39. <laughs> Sanders throwing the ball over to Robinson. Goes all the way down, lays it up. It won't fall. Clifton gets the rebound. So Wallace bringing the ball now. And Mason Latham gets a hand on it, but Northside keeps it. Wallace actually running the clock down a little bit. Northside coach wants a full timeout. 2.53 left to play in the ball game. The catcher trailing by five, 44 to 39. The winner of this game will play in the championship game on Tuesday night at 7.30. Right now the Bobcats are trailing by five. Two minutes and 53 seconds left to play. I apologize. All this weather has developed a cold on me, so if I'm sniffling or sound a little nasal, I can't help it. So Northside throwing the ball in. Wallace at the ball, being guarded by White. And he's going to call a foul on White. That'll be his fourth. Wallace will go to the line and again to shoot two. And he's definitely not the one we want at the line. <coughs> well, I should have said that earlier. Maybe he'd have missed it earlier. Second one is good, 45 to 39, 245 on the clock. And I believe he called a warning against Coach Riley. And Bobcats bringing the ball down, Latham with the ball back out to Robinson. He's going to be called for the walk. Jones with the ball. Over to Genesee. Back to Jones. Jones trying to drive the lane. Gets it over to Clifton and Mason Latham sits it out. Starks comes up with it. Throws it long court to Robinson who does his little thing as he does. He can't get it to fall but he is fouled by Jones. That'll be his fourth. Team's tenth, finally. So Amari Robinson will go to the line to shoot two. Cats trailing by six. And the first one is no good. <coughs> Second one is good. 
Wildcats trailing by five. Just over two minutes left to play. Wallace getting the ball down. He's going to take it all the way and dish it to Clifton, but he can't hold on to it. And back out to Jones. Back down low to Genesee. It won't fall, but he gets the rebound. Throws it up again. Mason Latham grabs it. Throws it to Robinson. Down to Sanders for the three-pointer. No good. And Northside with the ball. Back down to Clifton. And he scores. And the catch trailing by seven. Sanders with the ball. For the jumper, it's a little short, but Starks gets the rebound back out to White for the three-pointer. It's good! And Stacy Riley doing a little marathon run over there, wanting to get a timeout. So the Cats with the three-pointer brings them back within four, 47 to 43. 117 left on the clock. The Bobcats call it full timeout. And the Bobcats trailing by four, 47 to 43. They've got just a minute and 17 seconds left to get back on top of this ball game. And Southside defeating Lexington earlier pretty pretty handily 56 to 23 so Southside will be playing in the championship game against the winner of this game and the loser of this game will play against Lexington Tuesday night <coughs> Northside throwing the ball in some pretty heavy pressure by the Bobcats Managed to get it in to Jones, over to Morris, and he goes to full length and shoots. It won't fall, but same with the rebound. White gets his hand on it, knocks it out. Alexander in the ball game for the Bobcats. Um, stolen away by Jones. Well, that should definitely be on the back. My goodness. Yeah, finally, a foul called against Northside. Called on Wallace. That'll be his first. Robinson will go to the line to shoot two. 48 seconds on the clock. There's a little bit of craziness down there under that goal. First one is good. Cats trailing by three now. <clears throat> Second one is good. So that brings the Cats within two. So they got some full court pressure. And a foul's going to be called on Jasper Sanders. That'll be his fourth. Jones will go to the line to shoot two. I don't know if that's good or bad. He hasn't shot a free throw at least this half that I remember. 46.6 seconds on the clock. The first one is good. And McNary calling one of the referees. They ran four tenths of a second off the clock on that free throw that they should not have. The north side getting the rebound, even though the shot was no good. Foul called on Alexander. Oh, 
Call call on Jasper Sanders. It'll be his fifth. That's what I thought. It should have been on Broderick. Yeah. Broderick Alexander. That's just one on him. And Genesee going to the line to shoot. First one is good. And again, the crowd fussing because the scorekeeper ran a full second off of the clock during that earlier free throw. But the referee's not stopping to do anything about it. So, catch trailing by five with 38 seconds to go. Ball over to Latham to start. And it won't fall. Northside with the rebound. Let's see who he calls it on. And this time it is on Sanders, so that'll be his fifth. Jasper Sanders has fouled out. And Genesee will go to the line to shoot two. 28 seconds on the clock. The Cats trailing by five. 50 to 45. Cole Kirk checking into the ball game. First one is good. And now Latham coming back into the ball game. Starks having a seat. And that puts Northside up by seven. And now Northside's calling a timeout. 28 seconds on the clock. Northside calling a full timeout. Cats trailing by seven, 52 to 45, with only 28 seconds left to play in this ball game. And this game, the winner of this game will play for the championship against Southside on Tuesday night. Cats will be playing Monday night for the championship game at 7.30. White with the ball over to Robinson. And he's being double teamed again. Throws it to Morris who takes it down to Genesee. And he's going to be fouled. <laughs> Foul called on Robinson. That'll be his fourth. So this time it's Genesee going to the line to shoot. 19 seconds on the clock. Catch trailing by seven. That's good. <coughs> Second one also good. 54 to 45, north side. And White with the ball, and he's fouled by Genesee, I believe. Yeah, that'll be his third. So White will go to the line to shoot two. First one was no good. Second one is good. 
54 to 46, 16 seconds on the clock. Oh. And a little tussle over the ball, getting the ball in. And the north side player fell against the bleacher. <coughs> and I believe the referee's probably going to call foul on Marquise White and then call a technical on Marquise White. So that will be his exit from the game. And Morris going to the line to shoot the free throws. <clears throat> Is the first one. Second one is good. And now shooting for the technical. First one's no good. Second one is good. So north side on top now by 10, 56 to 46, with 14 seconds left to play. So that means that the Bobcats will end up playing in the consolation game. They will play Lexington on Tuesday night at 6 o'clock in the consolation game as Northside's going to go on to win this game by 10, 56 to 46. <laughs> so again, Lexington is who the Bobcats will play on Tuesday night in the consolation game. Um, Northside will face Southside for the championship. So remember, we'll be back Monday night at 7.30 with the Lady Cats playing for the championship at 7.30. So we'll see you then. Pray for the cold to disappear so I can talk a little bit better. Good night. <laughs>